A secret rare card. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Heart. We're more than a channel, we are a community. Heart Squad, today we will be finding out if there is a difference in new mystery power boxes from Walmart and the slightly older versions of the same mystery power box. And I have them both right here. First, I am going to be showing y'all the original one. And you'll notice it has that turquoise very nice shade of green or blue. We will not make a debate of that. So that is the first mystery box. In the second and the newer one, which came out in the past couple weeks, it was not there in Walmart at the start. It Oh, sorry, old one. Is this Barney version of it is what I call because it has purple shade on it. And there is some noticeable differences on the boxes, which I'll be going through today, but I am giving away another box of mystery power box. That didn't make sense. Not these, but another box I have over here will be given away to one lucky winner. Simply subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment which box would you rather have? The purple or the blue or green one? Just let me know in the comment section for a chance to win your very own sealed mystery power box from Walmart. So, there's one thing, as you know, the king of mystery power boxes must put on the crown. Ah, much better. Much, much better. So, I will be opening up both of these boxes. So, something you'll notice right off the bat is the Neo uh, Revelation and Neo Discovery packs right over here. These two packs. Different artworks, different series. And uh, so those are different, that's one thing. You, aside from the color as well, you'll notice the fossil packs have a Zapdos on this one and an Aerodactyl on that fossil pack. The Charizard is the same Charizard base set. It doesn't look like there's any big noticeable differences other than the shade of color looks a little different on one box. The uh, look for vintage pack symbols are the same. Seed it one out of 20 boxes. Uh, your chances should be, so those are the same as well. Now the sides of the boxes, the packs are different as well. Instead of a very nice fire red leaf green right there with Charizard in the artwork, you have Venusaur and he's down there now. And then they switched up the Supreme Victory. They essentially just switched up everything and added it that EX Holland Phantoms with Kabutops, which is a very nice series, might I add. On that there. Otherwise, same right there. All right, back. This is where it looks like it's uh, essentially the exact same thing. So they didn't change the back of them. All five packs right there, Flash Fire, Legendary Treasures, which would be very nice. Uh, they're the exact same Sun and Moon in the base at packs down there. Once again, look for bonus vintage pack, not packs. One out of 20 for that one. And then uh, that's pretty much it. The sides are the exact same on this one. Uh, as far as like the sides for each of the boxes are the same. So, bottoms of the boxes right there. It's essentially the same right there, and there's the tops of the boxes. So, we'll start off, and I want y'all, this is your job, Heart Squad, is uh, to let me know what you think if there's a difference, if anything. I honestly think, just from uh, other Heart Squad members opening these, letting me know that for, before I did this video, I wanted to see pulls from a random amount of boxes in this case study. And uh, before I actually did a video, uh, my synopsis on it so far is it's exactly just different colors. I really don't notice anything. No one's pulled anything major, vintage or anything. Some people have been pulling like older packs, but not vintage packs. And I believe I did see a base set two pack, but you know, you don't know if those are real or not. So, all right, let's go ahead and open up the very first one. Lisa, the letter opener, thank you so much for your help. And uh, one, let's see if we can get a vintage pack ourselves. And two, let's see if the uh, packs that come with the boxes are any different. So, and you can definitely let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Here we go. And my favorite part of these new boxes is the uh, missing nose that you get. We got one missing nose that's eaten a lot of other missing nose and an uh, evil twin, which is also eaten a lot of missing nose. So, missing no Pokemon's pretty cool. Styrofoam, first pack, Primal Clash, to be expected. Next pack, Breakthrough, to be expected, but I have had been having great pulls with these. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, there should be another pack after this one. Steam Siege, and a Fates Collide. And that is it for that first box. So unfortunately, not the best range of packs. 
Fates Collide, Primal Clash Breakthrough, Guardians Rising is obviously the best one. So we'll just go ahead and, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open this box and then I'll just open the packs at one time just so we can see the packs and compare the packs with each other. So here's the next box, the purple Barney box. It's the Barney version. You can also comment Barney version if you like the Barney version better. But like I said, uh, people were, were found these and they essentially been having the exact same packs and nothing too crazy. So we'll, we'll see if we can confirm that with this one, along with all the countless other ones that people have shown me. Missing No, oh my gosh, Missing No been lifting over here, look at that. It's so big, it's like two of these, he ate these. Okay, so enough of the styrofoam fun, let's see what we got. Guardians Rising, so starting off very nice, will be the exact same packs. No, Sun and Moon, okay, can we get some more Sun and Moon? No, but it's a breakthrough. What else do we got in here? Fates Collide. And the last pack is a Steam Siege. Nothing else in that box. So, Barney Box definitely beats out as far as the packs, but very, very slightly. Just because it has a Sun and Moon base pack, there's not any in the very first uh, green or blue box or whatever it is. So, there's all the packs. So, let's go ahead and open up all these packs right now. And don't forget to enter for your chance to win your very own Mystery Power Box from Walmart. Subscribe like the video and comment which of those two boxes do you like the best and you can also let me know uh, as for your comments um just if you think there's any differences if you've opened up some yourself definitely let me know so here is the code for that one no guess the energy game for these i'm, I'm sorry here we go persian oh by the way forgot to mention both of these mystery power boxes i purchased from walmart for 25 us dollars each they were the same price, and both of them were available in Walmart. All right, Rapidash, Special Charge, very nice. Crow Gunk, Tangela, Clink, Joltik, Pontiard, Talonflame, a reverse rare holographic, so not bad, and the rare. Oh, a secret rare card. Our very, very first pull. What a perfect pack. Was that not a perfect pack, ladies and gentlemen? A Volcanian EX secret rare from the very first pack. And a Talonflame reverse rare right there. So look at that. Perfect pack. Right off the bat, we pulled a gorgeous Volcanian EX secret rare Pokemon card. Oh boy. This, this, uh, the king. I'm telling you guys, it's, uh, it's the crown. It's the crown. All right, Fates Glide. Let's see if we can get a Mega Alkazam Full Art. One of the most gorgeous Pokemon cards I've ever seen. Be crazy if we can get that one. All right, starting off with Zygarde, Whimsiscott, Alakazam, Spirit Link, Bambi. Cupcake, Fennekin, Seal, Diglett, the reverse is Binacle, and the rare is a another cupcake, Carbink, non-hollow rare. So, uh, that box is pretty much set for me. Whenever you pull a secret rare like that, the odds are against you, but I did. We did, Heart Squad, and uh, makes me very, very excited about that. Let's go with the next code for everybody. This was a, was it a breakthrough? I think. Just want to make sure I get the, uh, Guess the energy game right. So, next up is a Glalie Spirit Link. Hunter! Professor's Letter. Swablu. Whoop, there it is. Ghastly. Doe Duo. Staryu. Pancham. And the rare is a Gengar holographic card. This is the same Gengar that comes in the Gengar tins from your local Walgreens, actually. Those only come with like three booster packs, I think, and they're like half as big as regular tins, but it does come with a cool Gengar holographic card. And those tins may not even be in your local Walgreens anymore. Don't know. Sun and Moon. I, ha I have opened up one of the Geng uh, those tins on this channel before, though. You can search that up. <clears throat> you know what time it is? You know what time it's for? The Leonhardt's Guess the Energy trademark pattern and Guess the Energy game? Yes. I I'm Ron Burgundy? All right, so anyway... Of course, I'm going to guess Psychic. Didn't get it right, but we still got the Guardians Rising pack. All right, we have two Guardians Rising packs approximately. Nintendo GameCube, Rainbow Energy, Crocorock, Sandile, Crabrawler, Drowsy, who likes long walks on the beaches, Grub... <laughs> what? Oh, boy. 
get our grub on today, I guess. Crocodile is a reverse rare holographic, so not bad. And a Tessarina holographic card, so another perfect duo, perfect pack for this first box, I think. I kind of mixed them up, so it doesn't really matter. It's just to see if there was a differences between the boxes, but uh, wowie wowie. Uh, the pools so far, ladies and gentlemen, have been very exquisite. Guardians Rising Time, and of course, we got the Guess the Energy game once again. I'll go with fire this time. Lightning! Hopefully y'all have been doing better than me. Lightning, Tentacruel, Choice Ban, Altar of the Moon, Barboach, Carvana, Talo, Jengamo O, Delibird, Machamp Reverse Rare! Very, very nice. There it is. Pretty cool looking card. And... Salasol is the non holo card, but we did get a very nice reverse rare Machamp, so that's good in my book. All right, we still got several packs to go. Steam Siege. I know we said some quite stuff about Steam Siege in the past, then it started giving me a really good pull, so I expect nonetheless. No guess the energy game for this, but we got another Guardians Rising coming up after. Starting off with a dual type card, very nice. Ninja Boy, Skiploom. Ponyard, Oshawott, Rooflet, Tangela, Krogunk, Hoopa, another reverse rare. I like Steam Siege. And a Kling Klang holographic card. So once again, a perfect pack. Look at that Hoopa card. Not only a design really cool, but hyperspace punch in Portal Strike. Very nice cards. All right, perfect pack there. Looks like we got another Guess the Energy game, folks. Y'all ready? Hopefully, uh, you're getting your tallies in. All right, I think they're in. Right, they are. I go with Fighting Energy. Ah, well, it's okay. We've been getting good pools, I can't complain. Fletchender, Alolan Graveler, Carvana, Talo, Jangamo O, Delibird, Trubbish, Alolan Vulpix, always a nice car to pull, and Swellow, what's the Dello? With being non hollow. Alright. Primal Clash, probably my least favorite out of the rest of them. Fates Clyde, then Breakthrough. We'll start with Breakthrough, because Breakthrough's been very kind. I'm expecting a full art now. Alright, no guess the energy game here on out. That's okay, because we'll get some amazing pulls, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Primplop. Reserve ticket. Floet, Noibat, Swinob, Ralts, Panseer, Meowth, Hippodamonamonamonamis, and the rare is a Parasect. Interesting looking card in the laboratory. Pretty cool. All right, Primal Clash, and then we'll get some Lash Pack Magic, of course, and Fates Collide. I'm just, I can feel it, just like I felt that full art in the last pack, right, Leonhart? Right, okay. No Guess the Energy Game, starting off with Professor Birch's Observation, Dual Blade. Teammates, very simple card. Electric, Phoebus, put some skitty on that. Trico, Pudding, Grodon, Spirit Link. Okay, and the rare is a Excedrill non holographic card. All right, Heart Squad, we're down to it. Fates Collide, the final pack of this mystery box from Walmart video. Let's see what we can do. There is the code for that one. No guess the energy game, of course. And starting off with a cool looking Loudred. I like the artwork for that one. It's pretty cool. Kabuto hiding. Worm. Coughing. Spoink. Diglett. Larvitar. Cupcake. A uncommon card. And the rare is a Motham non hollow rare. But guys. We got some incredible pulls, some perfect packs in this mystery power box opening. Let's take a look at them. Got a Hoopa Reverse Rare, Kling Klang Holographic Card, Machamp Reverse Rare Hollow, Crocodile Reverse Rare, Tissarina Holographic Card, Gengar Holographic, which is a very nice one, Volcanian EX Secret Rare Card, and a Talonflame Reverse Rare. So lots of good pulls, but it's now up to you, the Hard Squad, to subscribe, like the video, and comment. Which box do you prefer? Did you notice any differences that are that I didn't point out? Let me know your pulls for a chance to win your very own sealed Mystery Power Box. 
Hope you enjoyed this. Check out the iRide over here for other videos. My name is Leonhardt, the king of mystery power boxes. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.